So I told you guys I was going to do a Flat Earther video recently. I make my living by debunking ridiculous claims. But when I got into these, I realized what a massive shit storm I'd signed up for. Basically, none of these claims are cohesive, and they're the kinds of claims that can be made in five seconds, but take hours of research and explanation to debunk. So I'm just dipping my toes in the water right now. I'll make a more extensive Flat Earth video soon. Let's get into it. So let's start out by taking a look at some of these claims. There's no apparent curvature. It's understandable why they would ask this question, because just looking out, it doesn't appear to have one. One dude recently even tried to fly a rocket up high enough to prove that it's flat. Although I'm not sure what he was actually trying to prove, because if the Earth was flat, he'd never see a curvature. All the way up. So the globalists, or whatever the f*** they call us, could claim that he didn't make it high enough. But if he made it up high enough to see the curvature, then he would be proven wrong. So at best, he set out to prove himself wrong, and at worst, he set out to prove nothing at all. The dude spent around $20,000 on building this rocket, and he got about 1,600 feet in the air. Apparently, he didn't realize that he needed to get at least 35,000 feet in the air to see it. So this was off by a factor of... 30 or so. The best part is that he could have hired a pilot with a private jet to fly him that high for around $22,000. So, joke's on him. Another is, why is travel to Antarctica banned? This wouldn't be proof that somebody was hiding something, even if it were true. But it isn't. Travel to Antarctica isn't banned. People go there all the time. They say that there's a 200-foot ice wall in Antarctica and it surrounds the entire Earth. That's an awfully specific claim, and nobody has ever seen this ice wall. Like I said, it isn't banned. Go there and take a picture, seriously. Show everybody. Prove us wrong. Until then, I'm not going to accept your ice wall claim. After that, you can find a way to prove a flat Earth in addition to the ice wall. Then I'll believe it. We can look into telescopes and see round objects passing in front of the sun. Round objects rotating around us, and around other round objects, like the moons of Saturn. How do they explain that? At best, their explanations amount to a conspiracy by Big Globe to tamper with every single telescope in the world to make them project an image that looks round. Ultimately, their arguments boil down to conspiracy theories about hundreds of thousands or even millions of people trying to hide something from everybody. Every country in the world coordinating in an effort to mislead every living person on the planet. When was the last time we saw every world leader agree to a single thing? It happens from time to time. Very rarely. But when it does happen, it's some small thing. Like the rules of engagement. And even then, the agreement is tentative and fractured. We all come from completely different backgrounds and cultures. It's absolutely unreasonable to believe that we could get all world leaders and scientists to agree to bury the truth of something like this. And why would they? What reason would they have to do so? What's the motivation? When an investigator is trying to solve a crime, they look for three things. Means, motive, and opportunity. Did they have access to the weapon used? Did they have the opportunity to commit the crime? Were they in the area at the time? And why would they do it? There's always a motive. Sometimes the motive is something as simple as a brain tumor pressing on the wrong part of the brain, making them lose impulse control. But that's a single person. How do we account for the motives of the leadership of 195 countries and millions of scientists? How do they prevent leaks from getting out? How do scientists across nationalities make all of their science cohesive to disprove a flat earth? This is giving people way more credit than they deserve. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. Follow me on social media and join my Discord. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.